Hi, I'm Andre. I'm going to show you how to make a basic physics based uh, swing. So let's see how it works. So as you can see, it acts pretty much as a normal swing. It bounces around and it stays tight as it should. So let's see how we can implement this. So we're going to use a base here that will hold the ropes that are attached to the base, the board. And we're going to use the physics constraint to keep the, the board in place as it should and two cables for the visualization. So the cables will not actually affect the world with forces. They're just for the visual visualization. So let's go ahead and create an actor. So let's create the base. We'll use a cube for that. I'm gonna scale it down like this, and we'll also create the board, which will also be a cube. Like this, we can we'll scale this down also. Okay, so we've got two components. Uh, we've moved this. Let's get this back where it should be, like this. Okay, so we're going to use two physics constraint to to keep the board where it should be. So let's create the two. So we call this left rope, and we'll create another one, A right rope like this and let's move them where they should be so put this to minus 50 on the x-axis and this one to plus 50 on the x-axis so now we select the two of them and let's configure them so basically in a real uh, simplified version of a swing the board the seat actually has a total freedom of, of a linear movement and angular movement within a sphere around a point so actually have we're going to have two points like this so it will have total freedom in, in a sphere around this one and around the other one so the linear limits will lift to will put the limited so it creates the sphere that we talked about and we'll put this to 150 centimeters here so as you can see can already see this is for the linear limits and for the rotational limits yes and we can use also a soft constraint here in order to when so when it reaches the end here it will not stop that it will uh, actually bounce a little bit so we'll put the stiffness to 2000 here and a damping of 10 let's say so this is a friction so it stops when it bounces around it stops more quickly okay so we've set the linear limits let's see the angular limits well we can leave them free like this uh, i will see afterwards about what we can do to limit them to to make this more natural movement uh, but for now we'll leave them like this and here we'll use a linear motor and an angular motor to add some friction so to add friction when it moves up and down we're going to use this so we'll put this to 0 0.5 like this so this is so it doesn't bounce around uh, indefinitely so it stops more easily so here also when it rotates in in the ropes it actually will stop if the ropes are thick enough will stop more easily so we'll put this to 0 0.5 also twist and swing here we'll check both of them and leave a velocity of 0 and put the strength to 0 0.5 so we set up the physics constraint but we forgot to connect them so let's go here and put the first component to base and the second one to board so you can see they're connected now and we also we select the base and the board and we check simulate physics on them 
no, actually, that's not correct. The base, the base will not simulate physics because it will stay in place. So I think we can go ahead and test this now. So let's drag this in. We'll move it up a little bit so you can see where it should stop right here. So let's see. So it already works. There are some problems, but it already works, as you can see. Yeah. So what are the problems? Well, the one problem is that when the rope uh, attaches to the board, it attaches right here. So in order to simulate the fact that the board is going to stay parallel to the ground, we're actually going to move this down a bit board like this so one good thing about this is that it's going to escape this the base which so it doesn't project it when the game starts and that's good and the other one is that as you can see the physics constraints are here so that means the board will get will be hold from here which means that it will try it will naturally try to stay horizontal to the ground it's like it's it has a, a metal bar from here or from here like that however you want to imagine it so it will want to stay parallel to the ground like this so let's see if we fixed it yeah so as you can see it already wants to stay like that so that's good uh, now let's make the visualization. Let's add the cable components. So I'll add a cable component here, here and we'll actually parent it to the board. So we'll parent it to the board and then we'll connect with the other end to the base. Now as you can see here because we've scaled the board what will happen because the cable component is normally at one here well, when we'll parent it to the board, it will actually modify its uh, scale so that it has the same scale as before, but now being in the already scaled board will have more because it wants to stay the world, uh, keep the world scale. So this is good what happens. But if you have a normal mesh for the board, this will not count because it will be just one here. So you, you wouldn't have any problems like this. But that's just explaining what happens. Okay, so let's see. We have a cable component here, which we call the last cable. I'm just going to leave them with the name cable so we know they are the cable components. And we'll duplicate this and we'll put here right cable. Okay, so the first one we'll, we'll drag to the left. At minus 50 and right one to the right as plus 50 on 50 on the X now let's select the two and we'll connect them so we'll attach the end to a component property which is gonna be the base right here and um, this should be be okay not sure why they connect here ah yes because we have an end location that is set here but we're actually gonna this one we have to have to just select each one of them and we're actually gonna drag them so this is gonna be at minus 50 so it attaches right here and the other one is gonna be at plus 50 like this and we'll select both of them and just drag them lower so they're exactly where the base sorry about that actually they have to have the same location as the board so on the z-axis minus 10 so we'll put here yes yeah, so we have 190 should have here or is it well that's weird minus 10 like this yes that's good so we have them both 
here, right here. So that's good because we parent them to the board, which is the point of origin right here, and then it will connect to the base right here. So let's configure them. We'll say a cable length just a slightly uh, shorter than the actual length that we put here. Here we put 150, we'll just put 140 right here so it stays stiff enough. Okay, the number of segments will left us 10. Solver iteration. So this, if we look here, it says how stiff the cable will be. So let's put this here to five. Okay, and sub step time, we'll put this to 0 0.01. Actually, let's leave it to 0 0.02. And we'll also enable stiffness. So it stays stiff like a, like a rope. Okay, so I think this is it for the cables. Let's see how they act. Yeah, so they do look normal. They should. Yes, the only thing I would change is the cable width, we, which we can put to five. And it should look more natural like this. Yes. So as you can see, that's, this is basically it. You have a, a swing that acts almost like a real swing. The only thing is that you cannot uh, do something like this, where you put an object and it, it actually affects the swing. Even if we go ahead and for the cables we have here, we have enable collision. But if you even if you do that, it will not act with forces upon the swing because the cable component is not, as you can see, it does collide with it, but doesn't affect the swing because the cable component is not capable of that behavior. So now last thing I wanted to show you is how you can, for example, add some um, limitation to the rotation so it doesn't just rotate around like that. And, um, so for example, when you have here at the horizontal rotation, as you can see, if I rotate around this, this, it just, it will cross, actually. It will cross uh, between the ropes. So one way to um, make sure that, that doesn't happen is put this, so let's lock everything and we'll see. So let's look at this one. So the rotation in the horizontal plane will limit that so that they don't cross. So put this to limit it here and we'll put the swing limit here to... I found uh, that 150 gives a good result. As you can see here, it cannot rotate at 360 around this point. So this will um, stop it from uh, crossing ropes. Okay, so this will leave to free. Uh, you could also try and have a limited, uh, just, let's just look. So this, uh, not this one, this is okay. This one here. So when it rotates like this, so it, do it doesn't rotate over the rope. So you could limit this also which is the twist limit here and well, let's leave it to 45 and see what happens. There are problems with that, but let's see what happens. Okay, so we've limited this and this one will leave to free the rotation like that. It just is not that important, I think, because the physics constraints hold it in place. So, okay, so let's try this again. So if I go ahead and rotate around like this, it doesn't let me cross as you can see there, it doesn't let me cross the ropes. 
Okay, but the other one, which is the rotation. So let's go ahead and for the board, let's keep, let's make this bigger here. Let's put this to 0 0.4 like that. So we can see what happening better. better. So if I grab this here, it will, as you can see, it limits better the rotation in this plane. So it doesn't cross the ropes. But if you leave it like that and put somewhere over here, you will find that in some cases it will not, like this one, it will stop like this. So I would advise for the... So I would advise here for the, <coughs> the twist to leave it free like that because it's barely noticeable. So I can think, I think it's passable like that. But yeah, this one you could put here and uh, from what I've seen, you don't get any weird results. So there's also, yes, yeah, so we've seen the friction here. And yeah, so if you want this to stabilize more quickly, you can do something like 10, but it will not look natural, but it might be useful for you. So if you do this, as you can see, it's kind of like slow motion, but probably here we'll lift to 0 0.5 and the rotation will lift to 10. Let's see again. So as you can see, it doesn't rotate as much. So if you want it to be more stable, you could try and get that, that higher. Okay. But you will probably has, have issues here if you set it on something. It will be some kind of like slow motion like that. So I invite you to play around with this and see what uh, what specs for you. For me, it's zero, still 0 0.5 like that. So there you have it. If you like this video, if you thought it was useful, uh, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.